Community leaders have a message for people living in Baton Rouge. Violence against anyone will never be tolerated. The city's recent spike in homicides sparked an anti-violence rally in the steps of the state capitol. We can't police our way out of the situation that we're in in this city. It's going to take collective action. A study conducted by John Jay College found seven strategies that help stop violence in communities with high crime rates. All of them involve participation from the community. However, the results of these methods could take years to show up. A quote from the study says, effective prevention should include short-term strategies with rapid returns, but ignoring long-term investments could increase community risk. What we're doing and what we're encouraging the public to do is just stay involved, stay engaged, be consistent. Sateria Tate Alexander is the leader of the Baton Rouge Community Street Team, a group Mayor Sharon Western Broom organized through the Safe, Hopeful, Healthy Initiative. So we are built on community relationships and engagement. The group visits neighborhoods in the 70802 and 70805 area codes. These areas have some of the highest crime rates in the city. After seven months on the job, Tate Alexander says she is confident that the street team will make an impact, but it won't come overnight. When we think about public safety, we think about law enforcement, but we never think about the public in public safety. So it's going to take us, the public, to come and do what it takes to increase the safety in our communities. In Baton Rouge, I'm Donald Fountain reporting.